This was the scene last Saturday as tickets for the concerts went on sale. In Dallas, officers from the tactical squad were called in to handle a crowd of several thousand who rushed the ticket offices when they opened. A few of them had waited in temperatures that over a period of days before the sales opened had dropped into the teens. Many of them found their own ways to keep warm. The tickets were sold out in a matter of hours in both Dallas and Fort Worth, but there may be a few thousand ticket holders show up who think they have legitimate tickets, perhaps bought on the street, but actually have counterfeits. Earlier this week, an anonymous caller told station personalities at KZEWFM that he had participated in the sale of several thousand bogus tickets to buyers. Uh, for the Fort Worth, there is, we don't believe in, in round figures. So for the Fort Worth, there is $39.99 of them. And for the Dallas, there's $33.99. They were talking about they weren't identical. Well, they are identical. Yeah. It is a very simple. There is one difference. And it, it, it's not real hard to detect, but you know what you're looking for. The concerts are produced by Concerts West in Dallas. There is no indication they knew anything about the fake tickets, but they steadfastly declined any comment and left their offices when we attempted to film them. The tickets were distributed by Rainbow Tickets in University Park. They say the situation is out of their hands if there are fakes in circulation, and they even doubt there are. The tickets are virtually impossible to copy. They are printed on a stock, a safe stock, and they will be closely examined through the door by the doorman the night of the concerts. Holders of the real tickets will find they look like these. They sold for seven to ten dollars at the ticket office. The counterfeit tickets were reportedly being sold for as little as three dollars each. They lack the raised lettering and general finish of the original but are passable to an unsuspecting buyer. If estimates are correct, the crowds at the performances may be more than promoters had bargained for. Michael Brown, Channel 8 News.